My name is Stephanie and I'm one of this year's student production directors for this year's Silver Needle Runway. So fashion show production is made up of 33 very hardworking students separated into three different teams. So we have the production team, which me and Mackenzie are the directors of this team. And then we have Jess Raffo, she's the creative director, and then Marissa is our communications director. So as creative director, uh, I take on the responsibility of managing my team of 10 and we work together collaboratively to create a brand for the show and ultimately bring that to life through our promotional content and through our runway layout and our venue decor. The team, we're in charge of any social media, having local and people from the city write about us for press. We get VIP people to come to the show. Working really close with industry professionals and even the audience attending, that's something that I enjoy one-on-one. -on -one. Everything we do, we always look back to past shows. We always think, are we doing something that has been done 10 years ago? Are we doing something that was done last year? We try not to repeat that because we want every theme to be so different and every year to be so different. One of the first tasks of creative team is to take the theme that we've developed and kind of compile ideas for the main venue design and layout. So that means like runway layout and how we're gonna make that space the most on brand as possible. So a lot of our visual girls, our visual coordinators, they will take on that task while also Another big part of our team is the promotional videos that we create and <clears throat> we have a separate team for that as well and they work hard to kind of do a lot of art direction and editing and being inspired by videos that are out there right now and seeing how we can make SNR the most elevated as possible. A few things that we do at the beginning our organize our inventory. We had 14 bins of stuff that we use backstage. We've narrowed it down to seven bins since then. My wardrobe team has been working really hard to throw things away we don't need or distribute them to different places in the fashion department. Once we developed a concrete runway layout and the seating chart that we really want to execute for this year, we visit the Civic Center, which is where we have our show and we make sure to measure out the whole entire area and to get the correct measurements of every inch of the runway and how long each segment is gonna be. We actually work with a real production company. They're called Blue Cashew. We've worked with them for a couple of years now. They're great. They basically do everything that we can't do. So the staging, the lighting, the audio, you know, building the lights on the ceilings. They kind of do the things that are a little out of our control. My team really makes sure that that visit is super, it runs super smoothly and we get all the correct measurements we want because our time there is limited between the whole entire semester and the day of show. So we all work together to tape out the runway as quickly as possible, make sure someone's doing the measurements, someone's making sure it's straight, and then someone's kind of looking up from above, making sure that everything is looking as it should be. So our model casting is one of the biggest days of the year. This is the day that we go into New York City and cast models for the day of our show. Um, something really exciting is that we cast professional models from all different modeling agencies. So Wilhelmina, Elite, Red, Ford, all different agencies. And we typically see almost 150 models and we have to narrow it down to about 30. So it's a pretty tough decision that we have to make. It's really made me realize that I am capable of doing anything I put my mind to and anything I want to do. And I think Maris Fashion really implements that or tries to implement 
that in every student that they should go after whatever they want to do and they should try to do whatever they want to do and they'll get there and they'll be able to do it and they'll be able to succeed at it. So I think my biggest takeaway from Mary's Fashion into the future is that following your dreams and just doing whatever you want to do is possible and you're going to get there. I think looking on my past, who I am now compared to freshman year, I think is totally different. I look back on my four years within the Marist Fashion Program and just reflecting on myself, like I can't believe just how much I've learned over the four years. So looking back on that, it's a really proud feeling seeing where I started and seeing where I am today. We like to say that fashion show production is its own sorority because <laughs> Not only are we all working together in class, we spend a lot of time outside of class together. We call it our family because we're together so often and we get to know each other that by the end of the semester, we are a family and we all stay in touch. I'm still great friends with people who have graduated and who have been in the class before and have helped me out with jobs, have helped me out with internships, my resume, things that happen in the real world that we all learn together in this class, they still help me out with that. So it's our little family. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, you know, a lot of people really don't know just how much goes into FSP. Like I kind of consider being a production director of the Silver Needle Runway to be my job. There's days when us directors are here literally nine to five. So I consider the steel plant my office. Um, but I wish I could stay. I wish this was something that I could do year after year. But I'm excited to see the show this year and I'm excited to see what the future has to hold for s &R. Was that okay? <laughs> really? Okay.